2017 Mercedes-Benz E-Class First Drive. How does the Mercedes-Benz E-Class drive? We think it's pretty good. But we're more confident in our riding impression. The E-Class rides very well, even from the driver's seat. You see, the 2017 E300 is the closest thing on the market today to a self-driving car. As such we spent much of our time behind the wheel not driving, and it was pretty sweet. Now before you mail your angry stamp letters to the Auto Blog office, let us qualify that above statement. This was a first drive, part of a multi-wave press preview in Lisbon, Portugal. As is typical of these programs, our annual driving time was limited. A few miles flying around the hills that frame the Pegas River suggest the E-Class is a solid driver's car as well, but we'll withhold judgment until we try a US market car on familiar roads. As for the automatic driving, the E-Class is like the world's greatest, or most annoying, driving instructor. It knows things you probably don't consider, and still does it better than if you did know. Thinking about a lane change? The blind spot warning doesn't just tell you if a car's in the adjacent lane, it also picks up cars that are closing fast and flashes a warning light to keep you from cutting off another driver. The main almost autonomous feature in the E-Class is called Drive Pilot and is part of the driver assistance package. The features of Drive Pilot break down in several more confusing names containing either the Stronic or Pilot. In short, the car can maintain safe distance to other cars at speeds up to 130 miles per hour and automatically steer to keep you in the lane. If no lane markings are present, the E-Class can follow traffic at speeds up to 80 miles per hour and even has a lane change assist feature, hold a turn signal for 2 seconds, and the car will move to the left or right.